Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And over the last year, I've been talking a little bit about trying to develop some traps that can capture insects and, and hopefully do it in an in a automated way that you don't really have to mess with it, but it gives you information to, to help you time your insecticide treatments uh, very well. And I think a couple weeks ago, when you see this video, I talked about the timing and, and understanding exactly when to get it right so you can use your products most cost effectively. Well, we've talked about using light traps and attracting moths and, and beetles and things like that. This is a slightly modified version. This actually uses pheromones. And, and pheromones are sort of like uh, perfume on women or cologne on men that, that uh, attract the opposite sex, or they might be a, a feeding type of a pheromone or stimulant. And the idea being here is the insects are attracted to the, the aroma or the smell, and then they fall down inside. In this case, it's Japanese beetles, which are really easy to, to capture and, um, and collect the numbers. So where we'd really like to go with these traps, I mean the idea of capturing insects or attracting them is very simple. The, the, the issue is who wants to spend their time doing this, um, you know, it's, it's, it can be a real pain. So what we really hope to do in this area right through here is develop an ability to identify and count as the insect falls through simply using mobile phone lenses and, and what are called biometrics, which is much more than what I know, but I, I hire good people. And we can actually count the insects that fall through and then we can use a cellular network and this can either go to a cloud or it can go directly to your, your cell phone. And you can, without any effort at all, know what your insect populations are doing on your golf course or on your, in, your, in the, your communities where you're a lawn care operator on your sod farm. And you can time your treatments exactly at the optimal time, get maximum control, fewer return back and respraying, and, and be as cost effective as possible. So I'm gonna keep updating you on this because this is kind of my little pet project and I'm really excited about it. And I uh, hope I can give you more details in the future soon on, on perhaps how you can utilize traps of this nature. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you again soon.